people like the Platinum 37765 didn't quite work well for me. It may or may not work well for you, but this made me realize that I don't know if you can see it, but if you peer uh, peer onto the cap, you'll see that it kind of looks like Mount Fuji. Let me just go to the Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft and I have been going through my different collections from different brands and I thought it would be a good time for me to share one of my newer pens from the Platinum uh, line. It is from the Platinum 3776. Now, just so you know, this is like my third time recording this because of the light. Light in Jakarta is a little crazy right now with like the morning rain and all of that, but you didn't come here for the weather. I just want to explain why when we do the unboxing, it's going to be a different setup. I'm going to fast forward that and it's only for those who want to see really what's in the box because I already put the box away. Anyway, going back to my collection. So I have three Platinum 3776s. This was my first one. This is the Platinum 3776 Shiyun. As you can see, it has a very interesting body. It's called a diamond pattern, a raised diamond pattern. This comes from the Platinum 3776 uh, Fuji series called the Fuji Shenkei series. This is in fact the fourth, if I'm not mistaken, the fourth in a five pen set. That's right, the fourth in a five pen set. So there was a red one, and then there was a turquoise one, a sort of like a shimmer, transparent one, and it then this one, and finally like this beautiful red with like a vine pattern going around it. And it's supposed to like sort of represent the different seasons around the Fuji mountain. Now, um, I don't know if you can see it, but if you peer, uh, Peer onto the cap, you'll see that it kind of looks like Mount Fuji. Let me just scoot you in. See the thing inside? I don't know if you can see it actually, but it's like a Mount Fuji, um, I don't know, Mount Fuji mountain. <laughs> so this is, um, this was sent to me from the handwritten pen shop. So they found this one for me. And they ordered it in and I finally got it and I could not be happier. Um, I got it in fine. I was still exploring the different nibs that time. And a fine looked like a good way to go because I had a lot of mediums. Uh, unfortunately, this particular fine was quite scratchy. So during the Manila Pen Show, I went and brought it to uh, John from Pen Proclivities. And he managed to smoothen it out for me and now it's... It like it works like a charm so this one has like a silver trim accent how you want ever you want to call it on it and it's just i don't know i really like it now i had a bad experience with um the fine nib for this one because it was scratchy but it did not stop me from getting another platinum 3776 so this one is from 2020 and this is a 2021 Platinum 3776 and this is in collaboration with um, the Wagner Fountain Pen Club in Japan. This one has a rose gold trim. It has this nice sort of coffee espresso chocolate color on it. Nice facet and if you open it up it has a super cool nib. I love that nib. It is in medium and it is one of my favorite writers. This made me realize that even if maybe the fine from Platinum was not really for me, then um, it doesn't mean like the whole line is not all right because I have a beautiful uh, medium to work with. Oops. Okay. And then a few months ago, I uh, joined the Pen and Ink Challenge as a host. And as a gift to me, the Pen and Ink Challenge and the Luxury Brands of America sent me a beautiful Platinum 3776 as well. And 
this is the Platinum 3776 black with gold with gold trim and this is how it looks so it is a cigar shape and it has gold trim that means it has a gold uh, ring around the bottom finial it has this thick gold um, ring around the uh, lip of the cap and here it says 3776 yeah 3776 century it says platinum made in japan and yep it has all of that and then it has this like nice thin gold band on top of it um the clip itself is also gold and there's a thin band around that part of the clip rounded finials there's nothing really there except that it's like a domed thing and it's a screw cap and when you open it up, it has a gold nib as well. This is a 14 karat medium, which I thought was really fantastic because I really like the medium nibs on the Platinum 3776. Um, so this is how the three look like. My three uh, Platinum 3776. Of course, I have uh, inked it up. Oh, sorry, cat. Of course, I have inked it up, and I have inked it up with the Ferris Wheel Press Sherry Sonata. If you don't have that yet, that's such a beautiful ink to have. But let me just put it out here for a second, just so you can appreciate it. Okay, so I like that I have three different trims uh, for the 3776. That gives me a lot of room when I play with the different palettes for my weekly rotation. So I have the rose gold, I have the silver, and then I have the yellow gold, and I have a very serious looking pen. I don't think I have a lot of serious looking pens in my collection. I tend to like um, little quirky um, designs and what, colorways and bodies. So this I think is one of my first um, serious pen. I think I have another one, the Cross Solo Green. That kind of looks serious to me because it's a dark forest green. And then I have this black one. Okay, so just a little a bit of information about the Platinum 3776. This number, 3776, is supposed to be the altitude of Mount Fuji. And by that, the company wanted to... Um, sort of make it symbolize that they wanted this particular pen to be the best the most exceptional pen in japan or from japan all right this of course was inspired by uh mr haruos he is a uh, japanese writer um aspiration towards making a perfect fountain pen and i guess that a lot of people quite like it because it does come in a lot of um, different finishes, different variants, but I think the experience mostly lies on the shape of it and the weight of it. And I have to say it is quite, quite a comfortable writer. The grip section feels good. The slight lip there tells your fingers when to like stop sliding. The thread here doesn't feel bad at all. And like I said, for me, the medium nib is just wonderful. I haven't tried the other nibs though. That might be interesting. Okay, if you unscrew it, you will see that it comes with a, a converter and the color of the converter actually matches all the other gold trims. So as you can see here, it has a gold, gold colored converter matching the gold trim. Let's just put it here. Okay, just so you see, yeah. Okay, let's put that aside. This one has a silver trim. And let's put this one aside. As you will see, the converter is also silver. And finally, for the Wagner, it's a rose gold, so it's a little uh, different from the usual. Still can't get over how pretty that nib is. And you'll see that it also has 
rose gold. This is not inked right now, but I just wanted you to see just how cohesive the whole design is for the Platinum 3776s. Of course, you can get these from different shops. I got mine from um, the Luxury Brands of America for this one. I got this one from the Handwritten Pen Shop. And this one I actually got from another, oops, Instagram, um, from another member in the Instagram community for fountain pens. She was looking at letting it go and I was just so glad I was at the right place and the right time to get it. Okay, so perhaps now would be a good time for us to talk a little bit about, oops, the writing experience with it and what I have been trying to do is before I actually talk about a pen or share a pen on the channel I write with it a semi long period of time so I have been using this for maybe about two three weeks now um, and it has been a wonderful writer I have to say though that the way that it the the nib touches the pen it makes me think about how cross nibs at least the cross from the 1990s feel like when they touch the paper there's this it's not scratchy it's not feedback just like a slight um, I don't know there's a slight texture that feels just just a little different um feels like it's a dry nib but not really but kind of Okay, so this is how it looks, how it writes when you have the Sherry Sonata on it. It was very, very comfortable for me to write this whole thing out. Um, when I use other paper, there's still that slight feel. I don't know the word. It doesn't glide over the paper. It feels like a dry nib, but not really, almost like that feeling. But it doesn't stop me from writing a long time. It's it's not super annoying. It's just something that you notice. Um, as you can see, the ink is fantastic. Yes, and I think it matches quite well with uh, this particular nib. Now, notice here that I tried to not just use um, normal pressure, which is basically no pressure on it. I also tried to put in a lot of uh, pressure in terms of how stiff nibs can take in pressure and there is a slight line variation but it's not something that I would encourage for like long writing sessions it's really not meant to be flexed or to have any pressure on it um yeah so I guess um if you're looking for a comfortable everyday writer that looks stylish um but at the same time is quite comfortable just you know, you're not needing a lot of babying from you as it's an um, end user, then I think a Platinum 3776 is quite right up your alley, especially if you are looking at a longish, thinnish sort of pen. It's not really that uh, long and it's not really that thick. Let me try and get... Oops, my cat decided it's time to move things around my place. Okay. All right. Let me just adjust the light a little. Okay, I hope that's fine. My cat decided it was a good time to just move things around. All right, so just in case you were wondering, this is how its length is compared to a Lamy, if that's something that you have. And if you wanted to sort of compare it to a Caveco, this is how it measures against it so you have some sort of like an idea as to its length okay so i think that's about it this is a short video because i really just wanted to share the collection with you and i wanted to finally unbox and share my thoughts about um this pen um i don't know if you've noticed i don't really have a lot of like negative things to say about the different pens i review um i just want to clear the air and let you know this is not because um a lot of these uh pens come from really like fantastic companies and all of that no i i or because some of the pens are gifted to me for example this one but i 
think that every person has their own writing style and what might be pleasant for me might not be pleasant for you what might be a, an advantage for me might not be the same thing for you and so what i try to do is i really just want to talk about what is how the pen feels what the writing experience is like and then i want to let you decide if it's something that you might want to do for you and your collection for example, I have this, it's a fine. A lot of people like the Platinum 3776 fine. Didn't quite work well for me. It may or may not work well for you, but in case it doesn't, I shared with you what I did, which was send it to a nibmeister to have it to have the nib tuned. Um, also, I talk about, say, how it feels in the hand, if it's comfortable, I share sizes, just for you to have some sort of a visual and a, um, What's this? An experience review for like a normal writer like me. And I think a lot of us are like just normal writers enjoying pens uh, for journaling or for everyday writing. And I hope this is something that um, you can appreciate from your end as well. I would love to hear comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear suggestions and uh, all of that. Please do leave it in my comments and um, if you'd like to subscribe because you like uh, content like this, please remember to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed this. If you have Platinum 3776, I know that they have the newest one out. The one, is, I think it's called Chai Latte, I think. It's a very pretty piece. Um, will I have it in my collection? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I kind of like this uh, set, um, but I never say never, it depends. Um, so I'm just letting you know that that's out and that is a pretty cool pen to have. Okay, this is Kai from Kikai Craft. I hope that wherever you are, you're having a great day or a restful evening. Bye everyone!